conhece? Não, e tu? Também não. Jeito de rica, né não? Por quê? Ah, sei lá, pelo cabelo. Se for, qual problema? Já viu rico namorar pobre? pajama siya na pantaas or what, pero parang mukha siyang ganun. So, ang plano ko is gawin siyang two-piece. Kasi ang top and isang skirt. I saw this top and skirt sa Pinterest and nagkaroon ako na inspiration na gawin siya and i-triflip siya from that shirt and matransform ko siya into ganito. So, ganito yung ini-imagine ko, ganito siya. Ganito yung gusto kong kinalabasan. If you want to see kung paano steps and paano ko siya ginawa, just keep on watching! So now, let's start our thrift flip. Starting off with the top. Here is what it looks like before. So the first thing that I did was cut off this shirt into two. You will need your favorite crop top button down shirt and place it on top. Now mark and measure your desired length and width for the sleeves, sides, and bottom part of the shirt. Do not forget to add seam allowance. Okay? Do not forget that. After that, you need to measure the one that you mark to the other side to have a symmetrical measurement. Then, cut those markings. Make sure to save the extra sleeves and bottom part of the skirt. And then continue cutting. Let's start sewing. Sew the sleeves, sides, and bottom part of the shirt. I started sewing first the armhole and then connecting the sides of both front and back part of the shirt. And then lastly, I hemmed the bottom part. Now our top is coming into life. I decided to add another button in the middle to secure and prevent my belly from sticking out, you know. Make sure, make sure, you guys, make sure to measure where the buttonhole would be first before cutting it and testing the button if it would fit the hole that you made before stitching the button hole. Here is what the top looks like now. Isn't it gorgeous? Thank you. 
let's now go to the skirt part. First thing that I did was I removed the two big pockets of the shirt. If you have a seam reaper, that would help you so, so, so much. But sadly, I don't own one, so I patiently use my scissors and remove the two pockets. Next step is, I cut the middle part of the cloth with buttons and button hole, then I flip it upside down. Using a skirt that fits you, use it as a pattern. Cut the sides and don't forget the seam allowance, okay? Don't forget the seam allowance before cutting it. Now, this would be the back part of your skirt and save it for later. Let's do the front part first. Measure the waist part of the skirt and divide it into three. After that, you will have two marks. Add an inch to the mark away from the middle part of the skirt. Then, cut it until you reach the bottom end. Sew the three parts together, leaving 2 inch for the slit. 2 inch for the slit, okay? Remember to not sew where the mark your slit will be. This is how I sewed the slit part of my skirt. Now get the back part of the skirt that you saved and sew the sides together. After that, I want to add a zipper at the middle part of the skirt. Basically, you need to cut the middle part of the skirt. Sew the zipper to the skirt and adjust the hem so that the zipper will not show at the back part. So I tried on the skirt, but the waist is still loose, so I needed to stitch a triangular way to cinch the waist. After that, we will now go on to the waistband. For the waistband, get the excess sleeves that you had and cut it and unfold it. Remove the excess cloth at the sides to make it even. Cut the cloth into two.
fold the two pieces of cloth in half, then sew them together to make a waistband. Then after that, you need to attach that waistband to the skirt by sewing it together. I added a button at the back so that the waistband would be closed. And now, our trip flip is done! That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope na gusto niyo to and comment down below kung ano yung mga gusto niyo pang itrip flip ko and gusto niyo makita sa aking mga videos. So, thank you for watching. Bye! Já viu o rico namorar pobre?